gonna harvest together. I'm back, guys. Can you still see me, Lina? Because <laughs> this basil, guys, is already grown basil, so it's more than six inches tall. So if your basil plant is more than six to eight inches tall, you can start to prune your basil. You can start to cut or harvest your basil. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new. So today's episode is again related to being plantita because today naman is I will show you the uh, crops of my husband which is the herbs, the basil, the sweet basil. I'm gonna do today a pesto sauce out of our basil plant. I will show you first how to prune the basil properly, how to cut it so that you will have a new growth of basil and um, it will also make your, your basil leaves more bushy and the branches will expand so it will not just form a straight stem with a lot of leaves but also have a new growth of a stem so that it will make your basil more bushy okay for all those pesto lover for all those who want to plant hydroponics basil please guys keep on watching ever since the day that you went away So before I start, I would like to shout out to all my friends out there, especially to my dear Jaja and Sis Bucky. Thank you for your support. Thank you for uh, buying basil leaves here at home. And uh, I wish I could taste your pesto, pasta, and for sure masarap yan. Thank you so much. Shout out also to all my rock fans out there in Sambales. And also to my brother, Kuya Marlon, and my sister, uh, Ate Racy, and Kuya Rox, thank you for all the support. And I miss you guys. I hope to see you after this pandemic. And also to Tatay, I miss you. I miss you all. Keep safe all there. So here, as you can see, it's not a traditional way of planting the basil, like you're gonna use the soil. So what we have here is a hydroponic system base of planting. So for all those of you guys that doesn't know what is hydroponics, hydroponic system is a water-based process of planting a crop. So you're gonna use water and what we use is a styrofoam box and styrofoam cups and also a uh, root hormones so this is a SNOP A and SNOP B nutrient solution for uh, the water so you need to put this uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a fertilizer for the roots to absorb and it will grow faster if you're gonna use this this tested and it is safe for the plants so it is formulated by the agriculturist at UPLB okay so first you're gonna use you first you're just gonna use a soil a vermica soil uh, in germinating the seeds so here you're able to for you to to generate the seeds you're gonna plant the seeds in the vermica soil uh, you can use the seedling tree or this plant it. so when it grows now you can transfer the, the small plant it's just a small plant and you're gonna transfer it in the foam and then you can transfer it now in the styro box so i will guys for all those who want to do the hydroponics also 
you may click the link below for the supplier of our uh, nutrient solution and a styrofoam box and styrofoam cups for the hydroponics. Okay, so guys, um, we're gonna cook. We'll just give you a fast, fast video before we, we start to make a pesto. So before that, I will show you how to harvest. So guys, these are all the basil plant from our hydroponic system based of planting. So I will show you first. And it's large now. It's already grown. So here, for example, I'm going to harvest it. So here is basil. I think this is two months old na basil. So we're going to prune it. And once we prune it properly, we're going to cut it properly so that it will produce a new growth of leaves and it will produce new branches so it will expand. Okay, for example, this one, if, if your basil is 6 to, in eight, 6 to 8 inches tall, you can start pruning it. Okay, as you can see here, yeah, you will harvest it, Kaylee. So my daughter Kaylee will harvest the basil. She would like to harvest it where? and show you how to do it. Mommy, where? Here. Here, down. Yeah, Here. Stay there first. So here, this is already grown basil plant. So this is six inches tall. So we, what we do, what we will do is we're gonna cut it at the top of the small leaves. Okay. So that if once you cut it here come here come here once you cut it at the top of the the small leaves it this will produce a uh, stem okay so that it will expand and it will produce a new growth and that your basil will not eventually die because you properly cut it Kaylee come here you cut it Cut it here to show them how to cut, but don't don't show in the camera. Then lang, cut it at the top of this one. Oh, cut me na. that one. There. Cut me na. There you go. So we cut the basil, and we're gonna use this for pesto. For pesto sauce. Okay. So I'm gonna cut more. So this one also can cut here from here you can cut the, st the stem at the top of the small leaves okay can you see it guys so there you can cut it there so once you cut it I will show you the example of the basil that produces new branches of the stem like this one this one oh. this one has a from here before nagkat kami dito so nagkat kami dito guys nakikita nyo ba dito nagkat kami dyan that dito that's why nagproduce na siya ng stem so as you can see here, there's a new branches of stem, the basil plant. So that's in that way, if you properly prune the basil, it will produce more uh, growth. Okay, diba? Okay siya, diba? So there, there, I hope you also copy what we are doing. And I will show you the roots oh no I cannot open it so this one if you are gonna use the hydroponics so inside is the water and we're just gonna put a nutrient solution on the water and if you will use the hydroponics there's no pest issues 
it will uh, the pest will not go in your plants so the, the plants will grow taller and healthier if you're gonna use hydroponic system and also it will grow faster compared to the soil compared to planting of the soil so there you go guys and um, I, I just continue to keep on harvesting the the basil and so after that it. we can start making the the pesto and sell and sell yes and also we're gonna sell it we're gonna sell it so advertise now our basil really so guys for all those pesto lover and for all those who want to cook dishes garnish with basil leaves sweet basil leaves <laughs> just message me and i will put my facebook account there below so that you can personally message me if you have orders once you confirm your order we're gonna harvest your basil so rest assured that it is fresh and organic yay, organic. yay! Pasta. This is the one that we've made and look 
look at this. It looks yummy and delicious. Mm. And I'm gonna eat it now. I'm gonna mix it first. Mix, mix. And I will taste it. Mmm. No. It's yummy. Pesto pasta a la Ana. It's yummy. That's the end of the video for today. I hope guys you've learned from my video for today. And it's not just about making a pesto a sauce, but it's also about how to do a hydroponic system. But on my next vlog, I will vlog on how to do the step-by-step -step process of hydroponic system based on the experience of my husband because he's the one who's doing this hydroponics planting. Okay, so bye for today, guys. See you again on my next vlog. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Si Kaylee, ang aking anak, is so makulit. Thank you guys for watching. And keep safe there, everyone. Keep safe and Maga stay home. Ng land ate. And I hope you also Maga um, copy what you're doing. Like uh, at least to try on doing the hydroponics and also try your homemade pesto pasta, homemade pesto sauce for your pesto uh, pasta. And definitely, it will taste great. Basil are so smells. Basil leaves smell so good. Mm. And bang bang niya, parang amoy niya. So this is also an insect repellent, pest repellent. So I really suggest, guys, really encourage everyone, guys, to plant basil. And just comment below if you have any questions regarding on um, planting your basil and how to make your crop grow and thrive just comment below if you have a question because the secret is just um just do the hydroponics just try to do the hydroponics because hydroponics is a less effort way of planting because after you do it after you you set up everything like you, you already put the hydro uh, plant in your in the system so eventually wala ka nang gagawin so less effort ka na as in wala ka nang didiligan so to check check na lang siya kung ano nangyayari diba? ganun lang so less effort talaga guys so sa umpisa lang siya medyo mahirap so medyo trial and error kasi simula but then if nag grow na naman yung, yung crops mo nag grow na yung mga herbs mo and plants that you want to plant as in promise, it will follow. Tulu tulu na siya. Hindi mo na. Wala na masaya. Wala na. Wala na magiging problem. Then you just keep on continue. You just keep on harvesting. It continues. Okay, guys. Dabi ko na siya sabi. Bye. Bye bye bye. Let's eat. Let's eat na our pesto. Let's eat na our pesto. Pesto. Pesto pasta. We're gonna eat first. Kasi nagutom na ako. Matagal-tagal yung vlog ko. Bye! God bless all! Ay, I'm lying down in the grass. My next vlog is... Igan! Isa ka bang plantita o plantito?